Dr. Brooke and John join us to talk about a much needed resource for addiction recovery for teens. Guys, thanks so much for being with us. You were just with us a couple months ago on Skype. So it's, you know, here we have it again. Yes, it's very But exciting. live and all the way from Pennsylvania. Right. Great yeah. to be here in person. Well, John, you're the principal, right? And by the way, nice suit. <laughs> we I match. called ahead to make is sure what awesome? you were wearing. I mean, <laughs> that is just awesome. Um, you're the principal, uh, soon to open Colby Academy. What's it like to be part of this initiative response? Jay, it has been amazing. Uh, some days I wake up and say, oh my God, we're building a brand new school from the ground up, this is great. And then some days I wake up and say, oh my gosh, we're building a brand yeah. new school. It has been the best possible whirlwind the last five or six months that I've ever had. Uh, building it with somebody great like Brooke in the Diocese of Allentown has been tremendous. The community support, support has been amazing. People calling us and saying, we want to be involved. How do we get involved? Had, a, had somebody from Washington State call us, an 86-year-old gentleman who had seen something uh, on the news that we were opening. Uh, he was 56 years in recovery. He wanted to be a part of it. it it's been tremendous. I don't think people realize, too, uh, how rampant this is among teens today. Um, why is this such a problem, Brooke? I'm, I'm going from the script a little bit, by the way. Why is this such a problem? And why is it so important that we have a school to address and help these young people? Well, you know, children are struggling with addiction, and um, they really need quality academics with intensive recovery support. Mm -hmm. You know, and for us, the, the differentiator really is the faith component. We know that that makes a difference for uh, the recovery success. You know, and it's important to get these students early um, and to give them a foundation so that they can understand what the skills are and what the triggers are for themselves, ultimately, so that we can save their lives. And does it take great courage for these young teens, too, to, to be together and, and, and they have these issues, these, these problems with addiction, and yet they want to fight and they want to get educated and they want to move forward with their lives. They must be courageous kids. Absolutely. You know, there's a great perseverance in there, you know, and there's a lot of guilt and shame that surrounds addiction. You know, for these students to be able to step forward and talk about that, to be honest about that, and to surrender and invite their higher power into that process, absolutely. A lot of courage for these young people. John, how do we get here? So. It's not easy, as you say, from the ground up. How did it start? How did it, it really start to move forward? And how do we get to this point when we're going to open? So really, I, I have to say, it's really Brooke's brainchild. She's the, uh, she's the brains of the operation. I like to just think I'm the worker bee. Uh, but it was really Brooke's brainchild. She had come across it uh, in her work in public education. And as she said, the differentiator is faith. And the opportunity to open the first faith-based um, recovery school has just really been incredible. We have uh, started a committee. Brooke, Brooke began that. I started on that committee. And we invited other people from the diocese to really look at it. And then um, when, when the plan was put together, our, our great bishop, Bishop Alfred Schlert, agreed to it. He said, let's do this. Been totally supportive of it. And uh, the past six months, it's just been Everything from interviewing people, hiring an advancement director, getting textbooks donated to us from other public, from, excuse me, from other Catholic high schools, and meeting with community members, coming to, you know, this great show, this is the day, and, and doing anything, as I like to say, talking about Colby Academy to anybody who won't run away. And when is it actually open? August 26th. Congratulations. So, Brooke, it seems to fall on you then. This is, is your idea. Why did you do it? Well, I, I will say, you know, in my work as an educator, you know, on the public school side and now within Catholic education, you know, um, it really, it touched my heart to see these kids struggling and not have a viable option for them. You know, so prayerfully trying to figure out what is it that the Lord is guiding me to do, you know, to help these young people. And I will say it definitely was divine inspiration, you know, to be able to learn about this model and then realize the key components that need to happen. Was it hard? Um, no, it really, really wasn't. No, and that's um, that's really one of the amazing components of this is all of the barriers you potentially would think that you would encounter, whether it was dealing with the county, dealing with families, dealing with neighborhood, um, really melt away. Um, so the Lord's hand is definitely in this work. It's really been very easy um, to bring the community together, to have the collective impact, and to really make this difference. You know, it's interesting too because you. you 
you two sit here and yet you talk a lot about community and about all these people so it, it's taken a lot of people to get this up and running how has the support been Fantastic. So, you know, community support from the county, from the state, um, from our faith family um, has just really mobilized this initiative. And there's so many people that realize we need to do something and we need to do something different. Um, so to take action and to live our faith and having the opportunity to do this has just been profound. What is the difference of this school compared to a school without children who had an addiction or teens, young adults? Well, I like to say that we want to run a, a typical Catholic high school, and we want to give our students the typical half Catholic high school experience, with the exception being that we're going to provide uh, recovery supports and counseling for them. So throughout the course of the day, our students, they're going to have religion class and math class and be able to do those kinds of things. There are going to be lunch breaks and that kind of thing. But they're also going to have individual counseling, peer-led counseling, group counseling, family counseling, and one I think the most important things is our after school activities called alternative peer groups. They're sober social groups that allow the school day to continue for our students um, with, other, with other peers that are in recovery. I, I know some parents who have had children um, who have struggled with addiction, and they're always looking for something, anything to hold on to, and what I like about this is you're giving them something that gives them hope. And you must see that throughout all of your students, the hope that there's something that can help their kids. Um, it must be some, some great uh, victories that you're going to achieve in this. Do you think you'll you'll see these just some wonderful things come out of all of this? I do. I believe that. We've met so many people and unfortunately that have lost their children yeah. and the, the hope that now there will be an opportunity for other families to find the healing. Um, we do. We believe that we're going to save lives and these children will become leaders in their community so that they can give back as well. Well, if someone wants to help support uh, the effort, what do they do? They can contact us at colby-academy.com um, or they can call the Diocese of Allentown and ask for Brooke Tichet or John Petroselli. Well, guys, thank you so much for being here. We went over in our time, but you know what? It's live, so we can do that. Great. It doesn't matter. It's thank too good. We'll say five more minutes if you want. We see? <laughs> thank you. Thank you so thank much you. for being with us today.